All right, we got Kip Wallace on the phone. He had uh, put this whole debate together. He was going to be the moderator for it as well. Kip, how did all this break out? Um, you called Ward, Ward's office and asked him when would two nights be available. Tell me what happened. Yeah, I'm starting to feel a, a little rejected, Charles. I can't seem to find a candidate to talk to me today. But uh, <laughs> I guess we really came up with the concept of this uh, about two or three weeks ago. And you know, we really wanted to have a chance to sit down with all of the candidates who were going to have an impact in the area. So we thought, obviously, with uh, war having to move districts, um, and Charles Poindexter being a relative unknown in Henry County, this would be the ultimate. This would be the one that would probably be the most important mm -hmm. to the viewers in Martinsville and Henry County. So we make the call, and uh, one of the first people were really very uh, open and uh, receptive at first throughout a couple of dates, and we took those, and we called Charles Poindexter's camp, and we said, look, we have these dates available. Uh, we'd like to get you off from 6.30 to 8 p.m., and we're going to sit down and have a sort of an old-fashioned conversation about some of the topics. Well, bam, the door gets slammed. Charles Poindexter's people say, nope, not going to do it. He's had enough public appearances with Ward. Uh, he's booked solid. We don't have time for this. We appreciate it. But thanks, but no thanks. So, you know, I, I thought to myself, well, that's, that's certainly their choice, but it's not going to stop us from moving forward. So... We called back to Ward's people and we said, look, you know, we're going to do this one way or the other. And, uh, you know, you gave us these dates. We've already booked something for the second date, so let's do it on the 19th. Okay. Uh, all right. No problem. And then yesterday afternoon, uh, I got a phone call in the evening, later in the evening, uh, from uh, one of Ward's handlers. And she said that uh, there was some confusion and a misschedule, but he had something already booked. They were going to decline to participate. And... La -di -da. Now the people of the Martinsville Henry County area are not going to get to see Delegate Warren Armstrong and Charles Poindexter on local television. It's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's incredibly frustrating because folks in Henry County know Ward Armstrong, but I don't think they've had a chance to see him sit down and discuss these issues like APCO and uh, the other things that he continues to bring up. And they certainly haven't seen Charles Poindexter. Well, there's a big question on this APCO about Ward, and, and it's a question I think he ducks all the time, and that is the fact that he was behind one of the bills that allowed the power company to be able to ask for rate hikes. <laughs> yeah, there, there is, there's getting to be some muddy water here, and, and I think people need to kind of kind of need to perk up their noses here. The whole APCO thing has been the bread and butter for the War Armstrong campaign so far this year. I mean, you see the giant signs. They don't say vote War Armstrong. Mm -hmm. say no more rate hikes. Right. So, you, you know, people are starting to wonder, is Ward running against APCO or Charles Poindexter? Right. And well, it, it, you know, in Richmond, the report came out uh, from Politico saying, uh, and they have this little meter where they take a, a candidate's TV advertisements, which... You know, we don't get to see that much because they're not advertising locally. Yeah. And, and it's kind of, is it, are they telling the truth or is it liar, liar, pants on fire? Bad news for Ward Armstrong, he qualifies for a liar, liar, pants on fire when it comes to his ad that directly um, talks about APCO's rate hikes. Right. Do you think he would be afraid to answer that question? I don't know that he would be afraid to answer the question, but I don't know that it's been asked to him. Yeah. Um, I think that's the <laughs> that's the big question. Nobody's asked it, and we thought we were going to ask it tonight, and we're not. Yeah. But you know, these candidates should not think that they're going to be able to just rely on Patrick and Franklin counties to get by. I and mean, we have a pretty dense population in the areas of Henry County that are in this district, and these people want answers, and they want to be able to turn on their local television station and get information, and they have not been able to do that. Right. Now, Kip, I think you and I have kind of gotten committed to this. We're going to to go around and try to find both of these candidates, because obviously they're trying to duck some questions, and we're going to see what they'll answer and when they'll answer it. I, I, think, I, I think it's our job. And Trump, let's, let's tell chapter two of this story. Okay. We, we, after that decision is made that if you're not going to, you know, if Muhammad's not coming to the mountain, we're going to pick the mountain up, Hollywood Mountain, and move it to Muhammad. Right. And at least we're going to let them know we exist. Yeah, so we, <laughs> we the phone today, and we call and say, listen, uh, we call Ward's people, and we say, look, just give us your our 
itinerary. Mm -hmm. Give us your who, what, where, why, and when. When are you going to be someplace? When are you having a public forum? Yeah. And we want to go to that. Well, we got a voicemail. Now we call Poindexter's people and specifically talk to his campaign manager, and he gets a little irritated with us. Yeah. Uh, his approach is, we don't do that for, I've never done that for a candidate. If you want to know, you can call us each day, and we'll tell you where we're going to be. Well, I did that. And I found out that he's going to be in Ararat tonight, for people who don't know where Ararat is. Uh, it's on top of the mountain, uh, close to Lover's Leap at the Patrick County, it's near Vesta. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be at the Patrick County Chamber of Commerce. He and Bill Stanley and Morgan Griffith are going to be up there having a Republican uh, meet and greet with the folks at the Patrick County Chamber. Right. Now, you know, is that going to benefit the folks in Henry County? Maybe not. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you're looking for Charles Poindexter between 6 and 8.30, he's going to be an error at. Where is Ward Armstrong going to be? Yeah. No, nobody knows. We know where he's not going to be. Right. People on cable 18 or WMDV, and uh, so the, the, but the, the candidates need to be aware that that we have a duty to the to the people in Henry County, in Martinsville, and in Pennsylvania County, and to all of our viewers in North Carolina to let them know what these candidates stand for, and we are not going to sit idly by and let them duck and dodge the last three weeks of the campaign, just riding on what people think. Right, and, and we're going to kind of chase them out on some of the slick politics, Kip. <laughs> yeah, I, I think they need to be aware that it, well, like I said, if they're not going to come at, ask, if they're not going to come and answer the questions, it's not going to stop us from going and asking the questions. Yep, and, we're, and, we're, and, and this, I've got some questions. I think both of them will be a little shooken up over. All right, thank you, Kip. Yeah, fair warning. We're going to have to see how this thing shakes out, but folks should know that just about every night for the next two or three weeks, they're going to find out something about these candidates every day. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Kip.